The man who has been the glue for Team USA no longer defines himself by his success on the court, but rather what he does away from it. By doing so, the outside hitter has allowed himself to reach new heights, which is saying something, because Reed Pretty's volleyball accomplishments include three Olympic appearances, one gold medal, and a stellar college career at Loyola Marymount University. When your performance is, is less about who you are as a person, you're freed up to, to compete and to perform at a higher level, and you end up reaching uh, your goal, which is to reach your main potential. One of Reed's off-court endeavors includes starting the net live with former teammate Kevin Barnett, an internet radio show dedicated to spreading volleyball across the globe, as mentioned in their tagline, from SoCal to Siberia. I think volleyball needs to um, find a way to communicate and to give uh, a fan an upfront personal experience with the event and the venue and everything without having been there. And I think that's, uh, that's the space that I see that's open. And whether it's something that I can be a part of or something that somebody else does, I really think that's what can really help grow the fan base for volleyball. Reed is currently a silent partner of the show because playing volleyball is a main priority. Another area of importance in Pretty's life is being a family man. That's just how we've been able to stay in this profession longer is because we can't do the separate separation thing, living two lives. And so when, when it's time for me to go to a, a pro deal overseas, then we definitely are bringing everybody with us. Reed's four-year-old son, Caden, has traveled more already than most anyone will in a lifetime, as his dad's career has already taken them through Russia, Turkey, and Italy. One of his hobbies is emulating his father and Team USA on the floor. So we'll be in the living room, and he'll tell me that... He'll say, hey, Dad, okay, you're Matt Anderson. He's going to be Dave Lee during this exchange. And he'll serve a ball, and he'll cheer like he got the point, and then run all the way over me and give me a hug because he sees every point that we come together and do this team hug. Reed won't be giving team hugs for the next few months as he recovers from a torn ACL. At 36 years old, any doubts Pretty had of continuing to play volleyball have vanished. I think initially, as soon as the injury happened, that first month was sort of a uh, let's check my motivation, let's check the future, and, and, and the motivation was still there to compete in another Olympic Games. Reed expects to be fully recovered by December and hopes to start training with the national team in January. He says the Rio Games in 2016 will be his final chapter for the national team. As for life away from volleyball, pretty has a baby girl due in February. For the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles, I'm Trevor Zeiler.